Seminole County's Mosquito Control Program has some excellent team members helping them in the field. A flock of sentinel chickens used to detect the presence of mosquito-borne illnesses. So we place sentinel chickens out across the county. We have six birds to a coop. We test them weekly for different viruses. Each chicken serves as a canary in the coal mine, since mosquitoes that carry viruses, like West Nile or Eastern equine, prefer to bite birds over humans. The chickens are what we consider uh, a dead-end host. They don't ramp up enough of the virus to give it back to the mosquito population. They can't spread it, they can't replicate it in their system, and they don't become ill. They build up an antibody and basically heal themselves. The team takes weekly blood samples from the chickens, then prepares them for testing in a state lab. Once we get confirmation that one of those birds tested positive with any of those antibodies, then mosquito control will go out and start suppressing the mosquito population in that area. Staff will check mosquito traps to determine which species could be carrying a virus. Then they use larvicide or aerosol sprays to kill off the disease-carrying insects. As for the chickens, each flock works on the front line for about one year before they retire with a resident or with UF IFAS Extension Backyard Chicken Program participants, since the virus antibodies do not affect their health or their eggs. We go out two to three times a week, make sure they all have food and water, and then if one does convert, like it does hit positive, uh, for a virus, we pull it from the coop because you can't test it again. It'll it'll stay positive, and we rehome them. 